going on guys? We just got up here to Glacier National Park where we're going to be spending the next couple days doing some hiking, some rafting, and a whole bunch of fun stuff all around this famous place up here in Montana, right near the Canadian border. So first on the list, we're gonna be heading tonight over to Avalanche Trail. And then first thing tomorrow, we're going to be making our way over to the river to do some rafting. So I'm super excited to show you guys what that's going to be like. So after staying a few nights in free campsites, we wanted to stay at a paid campground. So we stayed at this KOA in West Glacier, which was about 80 US dollars for us to have a full size spot, you know, with a full hookup, sewer, electric, water, all the shebang. And this place was amazing. It's actually one of the best RV parks. It has an outdoor swimming pool. The nature's really beautiful. The staff is super nice. They take such good care of the property and the landscaping. And they also have a restaurant on the property to grab food or coffee. But anyways, enough about the campsite, guys. Let's head on over to the trailhead to get us over to Avalanche Lake in Glacier National Park. Machiavelli? You digging Machiavelli? Yeah, Machiavelli, bro. And that was the birth of a new nickname. But yeah, guys, we're here on the Trail of Cedars, which is about one mile round trip to go from the parking lot down to Avalanche Lake, which has these picturesque views. The trail leading up to it has bridges, a bunch of beautiful trees, and a few different lookout points where you can see mountains in the distance as you walk towards Avalanche Lake. It was a really nice time when we went right around sunset, or actually right after sunset, because we could see just the perfect color on the mountain, on the lake, and the reflections were unbelievable. made a quick stop over here at the visitor center here in West Glacier so we can get an idea of what trails are even open right now. Unfortunately with COVID season as well as a lot of snow on some of these trails it's limited on what we're able to see and do right now but we're about to head over do some rafting. It's about $65 per person and we have a group of 11 of us going for it so I'm super stoked to hop on the river but first we're gonna make a quick pit stop here right downtown gift shops snacks whatever the crew wants to check it out so if you're here definitely make a stop down here. Put it up. There we go, gotta get that wide angle footy. <laughs> there we go, yeah, there we go. Right <laughs> <laughs> the squad. Ideas. 
So after an amazing experience whitewater rafting through parts of Glacier National Park, we took a short 45 minute drive back to where we were staying in a national forest where we were actually able to stay for free. And this whole area was just magical. The sun was setting on the mountains. It was a gravel road leading in. So from up in the sky, you could see just cars ripping through the gravel, the rays of sunshine breaking through, unbelievable views of the forest mixed with the river and the mountains in the distance. It was one of those evenings we'll all remember forever because we had such a beautiful experience camping out in nature, totally in full relaxation mode and enjoying one of the most beautiful sunsets we saw when we were out on the west coast. A long time ago there was a forest fire out here, but ever since then it's grown out again and to a certain extent you can still see the remains of the forest fire, but you can also see where it's regrown out. And that just made it one of the most beautiful sunsets when you could see it shine right through. And it was amazing because we had DJs that were able to play amazing music all night long in the middle of the forest and it was a picture perfect evening. Good morning guys, we just woke up for a bright and early 4 a.m. kayaking canoe trip of Lake McDonald. Not gonna lie, it was super hard to wake up this morning because we were up having a little fun around the fire, shooting a music video until like one in the morning. So we literally probably, you know, got like two, three hours of sleep at most, but we're here now about to catch sunrise. And I have a feeling it is going to be a super beautiful one because it's one of those mornings where you have a very light amount of sun breaking through the clouds. And if we get the right burn off, it's gonna make these beautiful colors. So I'm super pumped up to show you this guys because Lake McDonald's one of the most famous lakes out here that a lot of people come to see, especially for like the really bright colored stones and uh, the reflections on the lake. Just so many beautiful things to see. So let's go check this place out. be able to see clear in the back of me on um, the views are spectacular uh, we should be seeing the sunrise here in about 10 minutes 
um, water, water blue as can be, um, peeps, we're, up, we're vibing, and uh, stay tuned. Let's get some nice views here. All right, hopefully this sunrise is as epic as we were thinking. The beginning was beautiful. Now we have some rain clouds coming in, so we might either get downpoured on, or we're gonna get this epic sunrise we were hyping up, well, we'll see. The sunrise wasn't as epic as we were hoping, but to finish off with a little bit of excitement, we're racing back to where we picked up the kayaks. So let's go, let's go. We're running this right now, but they're on they're on two kayaks. We have 33% more people, so there's a bit of an advantage for them. But uh, I think we got this. You know, the boys are the boys are going in. Boys are back and down. Boys are back and down. Two forward. Oh my God. Battle there, Rick. See them, they're, they're trying to sneak up quick right there. Yeah, we're going against the wind, and if you can see, they have double paddles, so much easier than you know in the canoe, single paddles here. So, quite an advantage. All right, we are in a close second place right now, but uh, Tommy's coming in hot with Tina, so it's 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 gonna be a close one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, now, now, now things are really Two getting wild. Two forward! Oh, all right, all right, all right. Left turn! Oh, all right, now we just, we just completely turned around. Send her back, send it, send it. Yo, we started off our trip with the canoe from backwards. We're like, what the fuck's wrong with this thing? We're like, count the paddles. We all just great buddy though, you didn't reverse. You guys are gonna And somehow we just turned that thing right back around and we're going full speed ahead right now. You know, I think we might take this for second place. Two tones tired out down there, so you know, now's our time to shine. Now's our time to pick up, pass them up, and uh, take that gold medal, boys. Let's go, paddle. Give me 2,000 forward, 2,000 forward. Let's go. This is what we, this is what we learned yesterday in the rapids. 2,000 forward. You just paddle with your mitre. No, oh, all right, they're, they're, they're coming in hot. All right, pull, pull, pull. <laughs> all right, I think now's our chance. All right, take him out, take him out. All right, we're in. all right, knock him out. Here we go, here we go. Sneak attack. Ask the legs. What do they call those summer teeth? <laughs> All right, yo, full speed ahead, full speed ahead. We can even, we can even beat two tone. We're, we're, all right, we're in second place now. Sneak attack. First one to the rocks. Just gliding across the water right now. Oh man! All right, all right, we got them coming up. Third place right here. Oh, work those guns. Work those guns. Work those guns. 100, let's go. Full speed ahead. Paddle. 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 All right, we are literally in number one. We are in first place here. It's not it. Oh, cut a right, cut a hard right. Wrong dock, wrong dock. Now's the time to glide. Look at that. It's glassy. Look at this water. It's glassy. Rip over it. Don't let him, don't let him get away though. Let me see if you can hear Yeah, first one to touch the dock. There we go. So guys, we just finished up an amazing kayak sunrise cruise. And of course the sun is now at its peak point. The clouds have finally cleared up right when we're returning the kayaks, but at least we get some nice views. And you gotta meet our friend right here. This guy is a legend right here. He is the doctor, he's the man, the myth, the legend. We'll drop a link in the description below, check him out.
My endurance. Yeah. And guys, so that pretty much wraps up our amazing three days that we spent in Glacier National Park. For the rest of this day, we got a little rest in because we got up so early and stayed up so late the night before. But that said, we wanted to make sure we enjoyed the final night. So we actually invited our buddy Steve from My Endurance over along with a couple other people we met. And we had a campfire grilled out and had an amazing final night here in Glacier National Park and the surrounding national forest that we stayed in. And so guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I've really hoped you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our next video where we're going to be cruising over to Crater Lake. And we're gonna make a few stops in Oregon along the way that we cannot wait to show you guys. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like button if you like this video. And we'll see you guys in the next video.